Greetings, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to create a Kindle edition of the book that I've already published to Amazon KDP. So I'm in Amazon now and this is the book that I've published and it's live so I can buy a physical copy of it. But I'm going to now create a Kindle edition of it. So first things first, what you need to do is if you go to Amazon and just type in Amazon KDP here, you need to download the Kindle Create. So if you just click on here like this, scroll down I've, I'm, a, I'm on a window so I've downloaded the Windows edition but you can download the Mac edition here as well and then once you've downloaded that if you download it and then install it I've got it on my desktop here so the next step is to click on it here like this and just open up the Kindle Create just give it a second to do its thing and then you need to choose. So if you just go to choose here like that, and then we're going to be using a kid's book. So obviously if it's not a kid's book, then you, you can go through and have a look through here. But this is what I'm, this is the flip book that I'm going to use. So now you can look at the open tutorial here as well to learn more about it, but we'll just continue. And now I'm just going to get the details of the book. So this is the, the book title here so I'm just going to go back into Kindle publish that here like that and then the author is me so I'm just going to pop in that right and then I'm just self publishing it so I'm just going to do it as is continue and then we want it guided view left to right and then facing pages because it's a flip book. So we just leave it as it is. So now it says choose the PDF. So what I've actually done is I've downloaded the manuscript from here, which is just below the actual the download here on the actual flip book. And now you just change it over to PDF here like that. And then that's the manuscript there which I've downloaded to my desktop. So I'm now going to open that, which is the Liam and the Magic Bike. And then we'll just open that here like that. Give it a few seconds to do its thing. And I'm going to do it. I won't pause this. I'll just do all this live so you can see how long it takes, etc. It doesn't take very long at all to do this. And then once we've done that, it's very straightforward, really. You don't have to do much more because artistly they've arranged it all so it's all very the, the, all the pages are in order etc in the manuscript so it's all very easy so right so now that's done here so we can continue and it automatically puts an overlay color so i'm going to remove that but you can leave i don't know you can change the color etc here there's lots of different overlay colors but i'm not going to use that so i'm just going to take that away and now We've got single page here at the moment, or you can have facing page. So that's facing page like that. So that's how we want it. We don't want a single page. Single page is just separately. Yeah, let's have a look actually. I might have got that wrong. Let's have a look, make sure. So what we'll do, we'll have a look, fit in window, it's automatically all done. So we'll preview it and just make sure that we've got it right. Yeah, you see that single page, so you, you don't want it like that. And I don't know why it's got that black there either, but we'll get rid of that. We'll sort that out. If we go to facing, we we'll do the facing page like that. It's got the overlay again there as well. Okay, so we'll go through, make sure, let's just see what's going on here. So we just preview it again. Yeah, that looks better. It's a little bit glitchy actually, this app I've found, but that's looking better. That's how we want it. You want it sort of page by page. You don't want just one single page. So that's that, that's as a phone. And then we'll do the e-Kindle reader, obviously in black and white. And you've got the tablet here as well. So let's have a look at it in tablet form. We'll just go back to the first page, make sure that it looks okay as well. So yeah, so that's the, the cover. 
first page and then how that's how we want it like that so I'm happy with that so I've got that freeform facing page that's how we've got it and for some reason it's got the overlay again but me personally you can look into that more about the overlay but I'm just going to take the overlay off so I'm happy with that and we can save it we're going to leave this here free form like that I'm just going to leave it as it is and then we can export it so I'm not going to do anything else to it personally but you can look and read more into it and you know if you need to do any more with it but I'm just going to export it here so so basically This is, it will just produce a package which is what we want so we just save it here like that package so your file is ready to publish so show cable so I'll just we'll have a look where the folder is that's on my desktop now so that's and that's the actual flipbook manuscript let's just come out of here now now that we've done that So what's in here? Let's have a look. Yeah, the resource. This is everything here. And then what it's done is it zipped it up, I think. So this is now zipped into a format that Amazon will be able to use. So this is what we need to upload now as the package. So now next thing is the first. Let me just pause. We'll go back. So we've in, we've downloaded the Kindle Create. We've requirements and support features. Installed the Kindle Create. So you can have a look through all this here. But it's automatically, because it's all already formatted in Artistly, it's automatically done all this. So it's all ready to go. Right, so the next step is I've gone back in and I'm actually in my account here and I've gone back and I've, I'm, I'm basically going to continue setting up so what I've done is I've gone in and it says here create a Kindle book on this is another book of mine that I've created so I've gone and done that and then once you do that it gives you all the details as if you're creating a physical book so you have to put in the book title and then the edition series etc the author and then you go through doing everything as if you were doing the physical book description publishing rights primary etc etc and then when you get to the bottom i'm ready to release my book so you save and continue And now it's saying upload the manuscript but what it says it says upload your manuscript i.e your book's interior content we recommend recommend using a kpf file now the file that we've just created let me just move that so we can see it so we just have a look at the properties of this yeah this is the kpf so what you're doing is you're uploading the kpf file which is this this one here that we've created the package for so we'll go back in and we'll just do that so we'll upload the manuscript which is this one here open give that a second to do its thing so it's just like you're you were doing the physical copy but you've already just created the the file in in the app there we go so save successfully and now it's letting you know that the manuscript is okay processing your file so it's very straightforward 
because Artistly's already created everything for you and formatted it and made it all compatible for Kindle, which is great. So you can add digital rights management here. And this is to do with Amazon and basically in Kindle Direct Rights Management, Amazon technology that encrypts ebooks, ensuring they can only be read or on devices or apps linked to the purchasing Amazon account, preventing unauthorized copying, sharing or use on another Amazon platform or non Amazon platform. Sorry. So that's up to you, whichever you want to do. I'm just going to press no. So I'm not worried about that personally, but that's, that's something that you'll have to look into. And then we upload the launch the cover. So we we'll do exactly, it's just exactly the same as the, the image that we created before with the, with the lot, you know, if you were doing a physical book, you'd have to create the cover for it. So that's the, you just launch the cover creator and do exactly the same. So we'll do that now. So I'm in my images now and I've got my, my book cover that I've created and it's three, four ratio aspect ratio. So that's the one that we're going to use. So I'm just going to download that now. And I'll go back into launch cover creator. Continue from my computer as if we were doing it like a physical copy. Just open it up again. Well, I can hear that wind. It's quite rough out there. Very rainy and wet today. All right, give it a second just to do its thing. All right, so we've got a few different sorts of covers here. I'm just going to look at this one. Choose that design there. Click the style to title. Customize your cover with quick style tools. Use these buttons to select pre-styled colors. So we'll have a look at that. So you can choose the colors here. But it's up to choose the layout. So I'm on this layout at the moment. If I do that, that I'll move that up. It's just trial and error, really, which whichever one you really fancy. And you can change the colors, etc. Choose the fonts there as well. It is different to the actual book cover for a physical copy because obviously it's a Kindle. But yeah. It's just um yeah you you've got to tweak it and, and see which one you which one suits you. And then if you're not happy with it. You can go back to choose design here. You could even have one of these without the actual book cover, but it's just, yeah, just trial and error, really just, just working out which one you fancy. Like click the style. And you can change the color. Say, for instance, I think, oh, it's more, more festive. I, I'm going to have it something like that, maybe. So I'll preview it. Give it a second just to have a look. Yeah, and I think, oh, that doesn't look too bad. I think I'm happy with that. So I'll submit it. You can read all through here as well. So yes, it's AI generated. So entire work with minimal or no editing. So we we'll just do that. I'll just put in chat GPT. And the same with the images as well. So it's going to be 
So AI images with minimal or no editing. I'm just going to pop that in there as well. And then translations, none. That's what we need to put. So you just leave it as there. So like that. And we don't touch this. And we go down and we just save it. So it's still converting the file. So you don't need an ISBN for it, optional for the for the Kindle. Are you are your images accessible? I don't know if my information images include alternative text and extended description. None of the information informative images include alternatives. So. I'm just going to leave it as is. I don't know if my informative images include alternative text, etc. So I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave it as that. So I'm going to click here just to say it's that my answers are accurate. You can read through here as well. We'll have a look through. So images, visual information offered to sign cited users. So yeah, have a look through this, see what you think. But I think I'm happy with that. Save and continue. I'm being honest, I'm just saying I don't know if my information images include alternative text. So I'm just going to do that. And then the pricing, we're on the pricing now. I'm not going to do this now, but you can do this. If you look into all this and you can do this, but for this demonstration, I'm not going to do that. Select the territories where you have rights to sell this book. All territories, worldwide, worldwide rights. Yeah. So we just do that. Primary market, Amazon.com. Pricing. So you'll have to look into the pricing really and see which one, what you'd like to actually price it for. So, so set a list price between $299 and $200. So we'll have to do that. Let's just do that. Say three. I'm going to say three dollars and that will work for everything then. There you go. That's worked out. OK. Or so, so yeah, you read into this more and then you've got an idea of how it all works. And then once you're happy with that, you just publish the Kindle book here. But I'm going to save it as a draft at the moment. But you get an idea of how, how it all works and using the app etc it's all quite straightforward but anyway i hope this helps and um look out for some more videos from me thanks very much